who ate. I sprang to the stirrup, and Yoris and he, I galloped, Dirk galloped, we galloped, all three. Good speed, cried the watch as the gate bolts undrew. Speed, echoed the wall to us, galloping through. Behind shut the postern, the light sank to rest, and into the midnight we galloped abreast. Not a word to each other, we kept the great pace, neck by neck, stride by stride, never changing our place. I turned in my saddle and made its girths tight, then shortened each stirrup and set the peak right, rebuckled the, the cheek strap chain slacker the bit, nor galloped less steadily, Roland a wit. Twas moonset at starting, but while we drew near Lockheron, the cocks crew and twilight dawned clear. At boom, a great yellow star came out to sea. At Dwethelt, twas morning as plain as could be. And from Mechlin church steeple, we heard the half chime. So Yoris broke silence with, yet there is time. At airshot, up leaped of a sudden the sun. And against him, the cattle stood black, every one, to stare through the mist at us galloping past. And I saw my stout galloper, Roland, at last, with resolute shoulders, each butting away the haze as some bluff river headland its spray. And his low head and crest, just one sharp ear bent back for my voice, and the other pricked out on his track. And one's eyes, black intelligence, ever that glance, oh, its white edge at me his own master askance, and the thick heavy spume flakes which I and anon, his fierce lips shook upwards in galloping on. By Hazelt, Dirk groaned and cried Yoris, stay spur, your ruse galloped bravely, the fault's not in her, we'll remember it aches. For one heard the quick wheeze of her chest, saw the stretched neck and staggering knees, and sunk tail and horrible heave of the flank, as down on her haunches she shuddered and sank. So we were left galloping, Yoris and I, past Luz and past Tongres, no cloud in the sky. The broad sun, the broad sun above laughed a pitiless laugh. Neath our feet broke the brittle bright stubble like chaff. Till over by Dalum a dome spar sprang white. And gallop, gasped Yoris, for Aix is in sight. How they'll greet us. And all in a moment his roan rolled neck and croup over, lay dead as a stone. And there was my Roland to bear the whole weight of the news which alone could save Aix from her fate, with his nostrils like pits full of blood to the brim, and with circles of red for his eye sockets rim. Then I cast loose my buff coat, each holster let fall, shook off both my jack boots, let go belt and all, stood up in the stirrup, leaned, patted his ear, called my Roland his pet name, my horse without peer, clapped my hands, laughed and sang any noise, bad or good, till at length into aches, Roland galloped and stood. And all I remember is friends flocking round as I sat with his head twixt my knees on the ground, and no voice but was praising this Roland of mine, as I poured down his throat our last measure of wine, which the Burgesses voted by common consent, was no more than his due who brought good news 